so let's continue the next part of the discussion in the modern periodic table conclusions let me put it in this way conclusions of modern periodic table conclusions of modern periodic table let me put it in this way according to the modern periodic table periodic table is made of 18 groups 18 groups also called columns and uh, seven periods which we also call them as rows next each group each group or period contains elements elements contains valency electrons elements contains valency electrons again in a group in a group every new element for every let me put it in this way for every new element for every new element a new shell a new shell is added for every new element a new shell is added for every new element a new shell is added for example if i am taking take one example to justify i am taking one a group one a group alkali metals alkyl metals take lithium atomic number 3 nucleus first shell first shell two electrons second shell one electron go for next one go for sodium atomic number 11 nucleus first shell two electrons second shell 8 electrons and uh, next shell 1 electron if you go for potassium 19 atomic number so nucleus first shell 2 electrons second shell 8 electrons third shell again 8 electrons fourth shell 1 electron and so on and so forth and mind you this lithium sodium and potassium they belong to the same group lithium belongs to lithium belongs to one a group sodium belongs to one a group and potassium also belongs to one a group don't forget that but however if you go for in a period in a period for every for every new element for every new element only a new electron a new electron is added for example take one example in a group for every new element a new shell is added we are saying again in a period we are saying for every new element only a new electron is added how come take one example if you take an example suppose I am taking for second period elements, if I am taking second period elements in the periodic table, lithium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, say for example. These are all the elements, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine and neon. Lithium atomic number 3, lithium atomic number is 3, beryllium 4, boron 5, carbon 6, nitrogen 7, oxygen 8, fluorine 
9 atomic number and neon it is 10. So, if you take particularly lithium nucleus first orbit 2 electrons, second orbit 1 electron only 2 shells again beryllium if you take 2 electrons and uh, 2 electrons, 2 electrons and 2 electrons. So, you are finding that for every new element only new electron is being added again 5 electrons in the valency shell nucleus 2 electrons 4 electrons again nitrogen 2 electrons 5 electrons again nitrogen 2 electrons 6 electrons again fluorine 2 electrons 7 electrons 2 electrons 8 electrons so on and so forth if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus